Okay, so here is my sauerkraut. Well, my it's gonna become sauerkraut. I've packed in a jar, it's the one cabbage, and I switched jars. The jar I showed earlier was sort of square, and um, I, this one's easier to get my hand in. So you always wanna make sure you can get your hand in because what you're gonna do is starting to juice up nicely is, um, is keep pushing it down. And I cover it up with, I use just a napkin. You can use a piece of cheesecloth. There you go, and cover it up and it'll keep fruit flies away. In a week, you're going to have sauerkraut. But every day, go in and kind of mush it down, give it a good shove down, and you'll see how much juice. If you don't have enough juice that comes up over the top, and it's really important it comes over the top, otherwise it gets a little moldy. Um, anyway, you can add a little bit of salt water to it, but if you just keep pushing it down, usually I find I have enough water that goes over the top. If you do get a bit of moldy pieces, because they're not under the water, just pull them out, throw them away. It's still really good. It's still fermenting perfectly. So that is that is how I make, um, make sauerkraut. It's really easy. And I let it sit out on the counter unrefrigerated for up to a month. And then usually I put it back in the refrigerator, but this, this isn't going to last a month. So uh, usually two of us, we usually go through about twice as much um, in a month. So that's the, that's the sauerkraut story.